This is a YEP speed controller programming card. The YEP speed controllers are sold by Hobby King. They're very good quality. They work great. What's nice is they have 6 amp BECs on them. And they're relatively inexpensive, averaging somewhere around you know, 30, 35, 40 dollars depending on the size. The programming card is really easy to use, but it does confuse a few people because there's two layers here to program and it does not come with a manual. The other issue is these uh, ESCs out of the factory come set up for a helicopter. They work great in airplanes and uh, gliders, but you do need to reprogram it for something other than a helicopter. The card comes with a, a cable to plug into your receiver. And on the bottom of the card, it's labeled you can see ESC and RX for receiver. And you have to make sure you get your wires aligned correctly. It marks it as a brown wire. So if we take the wire that goes to the receiver, we'll plug that into the connector that's labeled RX. Then we'll take the cable from the ESC and plug that in. Again, noting the brown wires go to the right of the card. Then we'll just plug in the battery. So out of the box, it comes with a 18 degree timing. I like to go with auto timing. So what you do is you move the LED up and down with these buttons on the top. This one will go across, this one will go down. So by going across, I'm going to go all the way to 30 and then down here to auto timing by pressing this button here. Actually you have to do the bottom one first. So I've now selected auto timing here. When you have the correct settings that you want, you press enter with this button. You hear a little noise from the motor, so now that setting is set. Now for an airplane, you may want to brake, you may not. For a sailplane with a folding propeller, you definitely want to brake. So again, we'll use the button here, go down to the second one from the top, and then going across, I'm going to set the brake to middle. And then I press enter here, and now the brake is set. You can also calibrate your throttle. I recommend doing that. That calibrates the very bottom of your throttle and the very top of your throttle. So go down to here, bottom row, and then stop. Go over to stop and the stick is all the way down and then press enter. Now move the throttle all the way to the top then slide the LED over one to the right for full speed. Do that with this guy. So again it's lined up with full speed. You press enter. Now to get to the second page will you open this up you press both of these buttons at the same time and when you do you'll see the light blinks. This means it's on the second page. On the second page it's critical if you're not using a helicopter to get rid of the startup speed. Helis like a what they call a very slow spool up which is no good for air, uh, airplanes or sailplanes. So move it down to the startup speed and then I would pick a uh, plain middle. That's a good starting point. So again, you line up the top LED here to plain middle, going across, press enter, and it stores the settings. That will now make this uh, ESC compatible with airplanes. You don't have to worry about the governor. The governor is defaulted to off by default. And if we want to go back to page one, we press both buttons again. 
and then you can also change your cutoff voltages you can uh, play with a bunch of other settings that you may or may not need but those are your basic settings for getting this ESC into an airplane mode once you do the settings of the inner key, you're, you're done. You can then unplug the power and everything is stored to the ESC. What I like to do is once I have programmed the cord, I disconnect the power, plug it back in, just to make sure that the settings that I made uh, stuck, that they were stored. And you can see the brake is on metal. and the timing is set to auto. And then we can go to the second page. And startup speed is set to plain middle. That's it.